everyone, we are back with another episode of Victoria Too Hard of Darkness, the Irish campaign. And sadly, I'm no longer doing that voice because it hurts my throat too much. So, we are back in this episode where last episode we had a causes belly against your whore. And I'm actually not going to be using it at this point right now because I need to first build up my, uh, my ship. So, you know, once I build up my ships, then we'll start using that that causes belly and for right now we are basically keeping a good eye on the world because you know it's always a great idea to keep a good eye on the world so anyways right now in our main place we I think we have done enough um clergymen because I only about because I'm keeping track of this we only about we only want about 1.5 um, clergymen in each province. So for this province, it's almost about good for how much clergymen they need. In fact, in about there. Okay, this is enough clergymen in this province. So what I'm now going to switch over to, I'm going to switch over to bu bureaucratics because bureaucratics is a very important part of the bureaucratic system. So now we're going to start influencing this to become more green, economically viable green as emerald green. Hey, yes, we're going to become the Green Isles, everyone, because green is our national color. It actually, that's not that's not a joke. The Irish, has, I think, one of the island's natural colors is green. So that is not me making a joke. That's really just stated fact. And apparently, oh yeah, that's a war for. Let me guess. I was about to say the French. I mean the uh, French and the UK are at war at war again. But I just remember that's probably for some stupid reason. Yeah, Russian colonial conquest of the British. British. What? Oh, acquired British Columbia. I see. That's because it has, Russia has this region right over here and it wants that. That's why. Okay, now I see why the war started. Kind of stupid reason, but, eh. You just have to deal with stupid things happening in this game. Just like that. Because why would you honestly want, I mean, if, if I was Russia, I would honestly want to take I, the island of, like, Jamaica or something. Not just, before, not just because it sounds like a groovy place and you'd have lots of steel drums and just like bum 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 You know, just have the, I feel like you would have lots of groovy times in Jamaica, but I'd also feel like it also has a strategic resource which everyone needs, which is sulfide, which then helps you create a lot of guns. Guns. In fact, I think if I remember correctly, it's one of the biggest in the world. Yeah, the Jamaican sulfur mines are actually one of the biggest in the world. The only ones that overshadow it are the... British over here, the basically the UK, everything UK place, but everything else we basically have a uh, good exact sulfide. So right now, as we are in Ireland, we're just kind of waiting for our, for ships to be built, because you know we kind of stink at that kind of stuff, and we are going down slowly but surely. I do see that happening. Don't worry, people. I am observing our economy, but it's not quite ruined yet, and I'm not really focusing in on like building up right now I'm just focusing and my wait did my people actually like are they actually no they aren't okay I thought I thought for a second you know they were actually building up my uh, roads and stuff but then I was like wait a minute no that would not be my economy but anyways let me just see something Yes, it does work. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so a while back I got a comment saying that if you press control and click, it'll expand everything in this region. So that means that everything like the ships, the uh, the naval bases and everything, it'll just expand everything and see if you have the money for it. That is such a relief because that has, I, I've always wished for a feature like that in Victoria 2 because once you get to like an empire of like, you know, America size, you're like, uh, I have to do the railroads now. This is going to take like forever, but with that, it kind of makes it so much easier. So right now, I'm creating my uh, my first naval army, which is going to take a little bit to create. And I probably, by the time this is finished creating, I'll probably have to go directly to war against Jahor, which I don't really mind to do, because honestly, Jahor isn't really going to be like a nation I'm going to really, really consider... Uh, hard, I should say, to finish off, but, eh, it's just gonna be right there, it's gonna be in a little province, but what else I might also do on the way to Johor is, let's see, 
Let's see, when is my Casus Belli run out for them? Casus Belli runs out in... The 5th of April. So the 5th of April, I have to make sure I declare war on them because, as you guys know, I have had a tendency of, like, messing up and then, like, being like, Oh, shoot, I should have declared war later. Or, I mean, I should, I should have used that Casus Belli. I mean, I took the infamy for it. Why did I not use it? And, you know, then that becomes, like, a big problem later. So, but anyways, we're going to try to just make stuff as much as we can. We got another ship made. Where? Oh, it must be made in this region. So, let's do this. So, approximately, there'll be nine ships in total once I finish this. Ah, dang. Come on, guys. Finish up the shipbuilding. We need at least... I'm planning... I was at least planning on getting out of this region before. Hey. Come on. Let's try to at least get out of here before... For everything I mean I think I could leave right now but I'd have to leave and uh, you know just go okay yeah we're gonna leave two men behind this it's fighting against a horde so it's not gonna be like difficult so let's start so this is gonna be the first attempt at colonialism so let's start going okay and we're gonna I guess we're gonna declare directly on the dot of April 5th and basically our army's gonna travel a very long ways before actually we'll be able to go conquest yeah it's gonna take a very long time okay March 31st, I'm not going to go any further because then it'll be really terrible. So, Johor, I am very sorry to tell you this, but you are now be you are now going to be under British, not British, but Irish subjugation. Because we Irish, we really do love our gold. And we do also love the fact that it is a new nation we can conquer. Alright, so right now that army is going to be moving down there. I am gonna guess I'm just going to keep this army over here. That's actually a good idea because then that makes sure that I have kind of a two divided army. And that means I can actually keep... A little bit more than what I want. And Johor is probably not going to get anyone spearing them for a very long time. But it's probably going to take a long time for my troops to get all the way over there. Which is going to stink. And we have the French. They're at war still. That really does stink. They still want making an alliance. But dang in this war turning big. But seems like in the end the French and the uh, Russians will win. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the British are going to be able to triumph over this. And a couple other wars going on. Boon, the Boonies Conquest of Qing Mei. So basically two un, unimportant nations going against another going against each other. I am honestly not I'm honestly wondering who's gonna win that. Alright, so we have more of our ships being made. I think these are all the clipper transports I build because I don't want to build too many because I still wanna industrialize in the future. And how are we doing in terms of our state capitalists? How were they building right now? They're trying to build railroads really don't have anything ready for them and bureaucratically I think we have way too many bureaucrats yeah we have way too many bureaucrats in this region and how are we doing in this region almost there we almost have enough regions yeah this is Linster Pinar I was about to say we have way too many bureaucrats alright now we've almost got an entire co country underneath our control what do we need now well now we got this we need to now and start encouraging craftsmen which will then encourage Basically economic growth because we need craftsmen in our main area so we can start building my cement empire I'm planning on doing. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this might get really boring if I keep staring at this. So I'm just going to move and let's see. We're going to also be increasing relationships with the French. Because I also, there's also a secondary reason why I do, why I'm trying to get alliance with the French. It's just in case if I, is, I am going to be fighting the UK in the future. I already know that. So I'm going to need as much as I can. And where are you guys? Wow, you guys only made it past Cape Hope. You guys are doing pretty good for yourselves. Now make sure you guys don't take too much nutrition in this part. Because the Indian Ocean is like treacherous waters. I mean, it kills you when you do not have the right materials. Okay. Yeah, you see, like, we, went, we went down 5%. And that was the one that we really died at. Okay, I think I might have lost a transport in this time. Yeah, I lost one transport in this time. I just realized that. That stinks. That severely stinks. We're almost there though, they just need to make it just a little bit further. I mean, they're almost there, they're like so close. Do not kill any more of my men, please. <laughs> That's all I'm going to ask of you, do not kill any more of my men. How are we doing over here? Still not creating any more... Um... Not artisans, but craftsmen. I don't know why, I don't know why we have craftsmen. I wonder if the craftsmen are disabled in our country. They might be. I'm thinking that. That might be the reason why. Because I would think that at least by encouraging craftsmen just a little bit they would come up. And we almost have Lombardy or the region of Ulster underneath that control. That is a great, 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 great thing to have. 
And now we just need to combine these men, and now we need to look back over here, make sure that they've arrived. Should've arrived. Yep, they arrived. Okay, get out these guys, put them down here. Okay. Wait one second. Hey, it's one second waiting. It's kind of annoying. Okay. And five of our men made it, which is kind of a good record. I mean, it's not bad or anything. It's just not the best in the world. And what we will be doing right now, since I feel like I want to go on kind of an Asian campaign of conquest, is Siam, let's see, how are you guys doing? Pretty much neutral, so yeah. I'm gonna get my demand concession causes Belai against Siam. Cause you know I'm a jerk like that. And besides, they'd be really good to have as a uh, as good as that. And oh my goodness, the whoa! The French actually did a successful landing against the British. What is this? Are you kidding me? Really? Britain, you can't defend yourself? I mean, we only left you for like maybe four, no, th less than three years, and you guys are already being conquered by France. Wow, that is embarrassing, right there. That is just embarrassing. Okay, so we have another good amount of clipper transports over here. Ideological thought is about to come to us. We just conquered this region. Let's go down here. This should block off. If there is a Johor army, I'm assuming they have a somewhat of an army. Get 3.8. Not that big of an. Inf okay, there it is. There's that army I was thinking they had. Go right here. Go right there. Make them stop. Okay, now go back here. And we're basically going to do... I'm basically going to have this army hunt down that army. The army's hunting down. And now I have three national focuses, which is actually enough for me to not really focus on anything else for a very long time. Because now I can just, like, support every single one of my regions, which is so happy. So what do we need in this region? Well, let's see. I'm trying to think. We need clergymen in this region. Yeah, we do need clergymen. Because we do need to start encouraging... We need to make sure there's 1.5 clergymen in each region. So that'll make it much easier for our clergymen outposts. Let's go back to our conquest over here. It seems like the... Uh, they're actually giving us a good fight. I'm going to have to go fix that. Okay, and we have to do technologies. Technology-wise, we're going to need to get some combat width. No combat with, um, not fortress level. What do we need? I'm trying to remember. Alright. Romanticism might help us to get a little bit closer to a great powerness. Hmm. Okay. I am going to go with it. I'm going to need to get some type of army attack and stuff. And right now, I need to make sure my army is the best it can ever be. So I'm going to get mo muzzle loaded rifles. Okay. You guys are going right there. Let's quickly go across the mouth. Let's go kill the rest of the Johorian men. With both of my armies of no leader and who's the actual leader? No leader. Both no leader and no leader are leading the attack. They will both be remembered in our history as when we conquered the Johorian menace. Okay. So let's see. Almost there. You guys go finish them off. And then we'll come back to the capital and start taking this over. Okay. Yeah, just have to finish this off. Okay. Go back here. Okay, we're making some more ships. That's good. And get back here. And is this too long of an episode? No, no, no. This is still good. This is still good way length. Let's see. Anything important in the daily? War between Chile and Peru. Well, that isn't really that important. And the daily? Uh, still the worst name. I... Still one of the worst names I've ever heard for a newspaper. And did London, London get conquered? Oh my goodness, London is being taken over. This is... Wow, this is this is completely an alternate reality. Like, you know how they say that that every time you open up a new game, you always, you're basically, you're basically playing another reality? Um, because you basically are trying to derive from history, and I got this now. So I have that, I have that causes Belli in store. I'm not going to use it quite yet because I don't quite need it and I'm having a little bit of trouble with our with our economy. Oh, it'll be covered pretty quickly. Let's see. Are we finally done with our um let's see. Are we finally done? Yes, we finally got this completely under our control. I'm going to start what I'm going to start doing is start encouraging some craftsmen. Let's see if that will help. 
We have any craftsman made. No, we still have no craftsman made. I'm wondering why that is effect. I'm kind of really kind of unsure about it now. Because I think it might be a glitch with me freeing Ireland from the Great British. I'm not sure. So I would think I would have have risen that I would have had craftsmen by now because I am encouraging craftsmen at a relatively rate but it doesn't seem to be going up yeah you see like it's not going up at all and I'm wondering why hmm. I don't know this is one of those things I guess I'm gonna have to wait for the comments to come out because I have no clue how this is working but yeah, because it, it's almost all my... It's both those regions, and I can't get any craftsmen in it. Because maybe my party's in power? No, that shouldn't be the region. I mean, uh, reason, not region. Reason why they would not be making... Oh, and I have to make sure I... Make sure when can I declare war on them? Oh, yeah, and they just got conquered by Burma. They're pretty weak right now. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty much... Oh, my goodness, I have no army? Oh, ho, 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 ho. As soon as I'm done with your whore, I'm going instantly after you. But when does my cousin's bed I run out against them? Just wanna make sure I do not. Okay, it runs out on the 11th of June. Yeah, we still got a year. Call nation of Queen Victoria, everyone! Yay! Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to raise the taxes. And by a little, I mean a lot. Cause I'm trying to keep us afloat a little bit. That's only because we are at war and people are just being grumpy. Okay. I wish Johor would just give up right now. That'd be much easier for me. But no, they want to fight to the very end. Hey. Yeah, but I think that's... I think once this war ends, I think that's where we're going to end it. And then next episode, look forward to a conquest of Siam. Well, I'm just going to take a little bit of Siam right here. Or maybe right there. Whichever one I'm thinking like at the moment. Okay. Got a little bit of that right there. Go down here. a little bit into uh into this occupation this should be wow this is going a way 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 faster than the other conquests okay you guys probably took a lot of nutrition yeah you guys did go right here go into this little base i'm gonna have to dock you guys up and make sure you guys heal a little bit okay and elections 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 they are always beautiful in my country okay and wait one second we're almost there we're almost there to the end of this don't worry people it's almost there and now okay Johor you propose peace annex yes Johor accepted our generous offer of annexation everyone I love the generous offer thing so everyone we start our first colonial conquest we started in a Johor region and next episode, we will be starting the war I am. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on Ireland. And the British are getting their butts kicked by the uh, French. That is sad. You know, I should really take an opportunity next episode. And as I cause this battle, I like to take a part of UK. Because this doesn't usually happen. But anyways, everyone, see you guys next episode.